Hello YouTube, this will be my second preaching today and I'll have to preach on doubt, but first I just wanted to say that I returned from my summer camp from my church called Momentum 2012 for some of you who heard it in Houston of course. Now, I received so much from the Holy Spirit and I feel like the fire is burning more inside of me. Today my topic will be about doubt. Now, first starting, I want to say that we all doubt ourselves sometimes on the things I want, on the things that we think we cannot do, but actually we can. I know it just kind of messed up there. Sorry about that. Forgive me. But anyway, we all doubt ourselves on the simplest things that we think we can't do. For example, like if we try to evangelize by preaching the gospel to other people and praying for them, we get nervous sometimes. We try to come up with excuses to get out of it, thinking, oh, I'm not ready for this. I can't do this. I can't. When I say no to me. First, I would just like to say that if you, if people say no to you when you try to preach to them, they're not actually saying no to you, they're actually saying no to God, and I know it might hurt sometimes, but they got to keep trying. And second of all, I just want to say that we shouldn't doubt ourselves so much all the time, because we need to keep having faith in God. Now, I want to turn to James chapter 1, verse 6, and which it says, But when he asks, he must believe, and not doubt. Because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. To me, that verse means is that whenever we doubt ourselves sometimes, or any other young Christian that doubts themselves, we are like the sea. We just keep being blown, tossed around by the wind of doubt. Like keep like, oh no, you can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I'm nervous. Yada yada yada. I just want to say that we shouldn't do that. I know I said that earlier, but. Sometimes young Christians doubt themselves thinking God doesn't want to use them. And I, I want to answer that by saying God just want to use us all. He wants to use us for a specific reason to serve him in a ministry or preaching and such. And I know he wants to use us. He, he has a plan for all of us. He does. That's why we were born. He brought us into this world because he wants us to serve him. And some people might not have that calling. And God has other plans for them on what they want to do. Like, for example, um, if you want to be a baseball player or a basketball player, God might have something better for you. I know he did for me because I don't know the testimonial. Uh, a year ago after I graduated, I had an appointment with the Art Institute. And I thought God wanted me for that, wanted me to do that because I wanted to be an artist when I was a kid. But my mom said, oh, do you know how much artists make? They don't make that much. And I prayed about it, and God wants me to do something else. He wants me to do something better that will benefit him and myself. So I, have, I said, God, I'm in your hands. Do what you want with me. Now, the third, third or fourth point I want to make is, that, is the meaning of a Christian. Now, being meaning of a Christian is supposed to be like Christ-like. We have to be more like Christ, like not, don't look like Christ now, but like act like him, be loving towards him, have compassion for people and preaching to people about him. Because we all know that Christ died for us on the cross for our sins. Now, the last point I want to make is that, that we all should always pray to God no matter what situation we're in. Because God does listen to us and he listens to what problems and situations we're going through. Like, for example, maybe some of us say, God, I messed up again. I screwed up, Lord. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? And God tells us what we need to do and how we can improve the weakness in our areas and how we can make it stronger. It's just like I said in my previous video, even the most righteous man falls down seven times, but he gets back up again. Now, I've learned that in a hard way, and I hope and I pray to God that doesn't happen to you guys. And I know it won't because I know you all are in God's hands and he loves you very much and wants to use you very much. Now, I do hope this video was helpful today. And I do, again, apologize if I kind of messed up a bit. Thank you for watching and please leave your comment below to, and I want to know your opinion. Thank you very much and God bless you.